Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Ross Jaffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our video. Stephen A. Smith the other day was talking about the WNBA, and that is not something that is a shock because the WNBA has been getting a lot more press recently, and for good reason. Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, a lot of these new basketball players are now in the WNBA. I've never watched the WNBA at all until a little bit this year and I know that a lot of people are going to say that I'm just one of the new viewers and I don't matter because of the fact that the original viewers they're the ones that actually deserve credit for the WNBA's existence which that's not true because the WNBA exists in the first place because of the NBA the NBA funds the entire league but that's beside the point but Stephen A. Smith was talking about Caitlin Clark and that's all fine and dandy Caitlin Clark deserves to be talked about she is a fantastic player but Stephen A. Smith is Instead of talking about her ability and how she's changing the WNBA for the good because it's bringing more eyeballs and that in the process she's actually helping out the existing players already in the WNBA and future players that are going to be joining the WNBA to get more viewers for the league in general. It's all good all around. But Stephen A. Smith has a problem with Caitlin Clark because of the fact of her skin color and that that's the reason that she is having so much success in the WNBA and that's why she's getting all this press and covered and that is absolutely dumb because of the fact I don't like talking about politics at all whatsoever that's why my YouTube channel is called Only Talk Sports but I feel like this is very important to talk about with Stephen A. Smith because it brings up a broader problem that we've already known about for years and that sports has become way too politicized to the point where on ESPN on first take Stephen A. Smith can just go on this five minute rant about Caitlin Clark and the fact that she is not of a certain skin color and that is why she is having success that is so stupid look at all the other professional leagues all over the place the nfl the nba those leagues are vast majority non-white that does not mean that those leagues are hurting in any way we watch the sport still it doesn't matter i don't care about skin color at all whatsoever when it comes to a professional player i don't care it does not matter in any way shape or form just because a certain player is white or black does not change my feeling of that player or of that league league if that league has more black players or more white players in the league. It does not matter, but obviously to Stephen A. Smith, it does. And I'm going to play some of the clip of what Stephen A. Smith had to say, and I'm going to let you be the judge whether you believe that he was racist to Caitlin Clark or not. It's a broader issue here that can't be escaped, and that is this. She is a white young lady, and She's been a magnet in a way that has benefited the league in ways that others have not, even though their efforts have been worthy and deserving of being as celebrated. And I understand Stephen A. Smith's point here about the WNBA not getting any press and covers before Caitlin Clark and all those players before. It sucks that they did not get any attention. But guess what, Stephen A. Smith? Those players that were not getting any attention in the WNBA prior to Caitlin Clark, the league is not just made up of black or white players. Every single person in the WNBA prior to Caitlin Clark did not get any press or coverage. What about the NBA and the NFL back when those leagues first started? They didn't do well at all. Football was seen as a sport play for people that skipped out on the military. It was a terrible sport. A lot of people thought it was just garbage because players were hitting all over each other. Guys should not have been allowed to hit players at the magnitude that they were hitting players back in the day, and it was just a bunch of dropouts or guys that did not want to go off to the military. People didn't even watch the NFL. College football did not have nowhere near the fans that it has today. Baseball was the sport that did very well. But same thing with basketball. Basketball, football, those sports had all white players back in the past. But then guess what? Black players started joining the league. Nobody had a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. And I'm happy that these sports now are doing so much better. But you can say the same thing, right? That, oh, Bill Russell in the NBA, Michael Jordan in the NBA. It's so unfair to those white players. That's what Stephen A. Smith is saying here, in my opinion. He is saying that it's just because she is white. He is not even thinking about the fact that the WNBA does not just consist of one white player and the rest of them are black. That's not the problem here. Stephen A. Smith is blatantly being racist to Caitlin Clark. He is politicizing this 
this. He's trying to downplay it and say that, oh, well, it's not fair that these other players prior to Caitlin Clark didn't get any press. But the fact that he said it's because she's white. If he had just said that I'm upset that Caitlin Clark's getting all of this press and coverage and that players prior to her didn't, I wouldn't have had any issue with that. It's because he brought race into it. If the roles were reversed, it would be absolutely illegal to say what Stephen A. Smith is saying. Or if you were able to say it, you would get completely slammed for it. Stephen A. Smith is okay for him to say what he is saying because we already know in the media that that's absolutely acceptable to say what he is saying. It is okay to slander a white person in sports or in any political office or in anything these days. It's absolutely okay to do that. Caitlin Clark does not deserve this. This is what I wrote on Twitter. Everything Stephen A. Smith said about Caitlin Clark was racist. People and analysts need to leave her be and let Clark just play basketball. Aaron Torres as well said that she is no longer an athlete. She's a political pawn. This is embarrassing stuff from Stephen A. Smith right here. All of these analysts are using this situation just to make the WNBA, Caitlin Clark, and all this other stuff look bad. That racism still exists. And when the only racism I'm seeing is here from Stephen A. Smith and from everybody else in the WNBA, we have seen players of a particular skin color deck Caitlin Clark on the floor, deck her on the ground. We saw the Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark situation back when she was in college basketball. No one was saying racism then, but now she's in the WNBA, it suddenly is. But the thing is, is you can say that those players are hitting Caitlin Clark and it's not racism. I could actually buy that. You could just say, well, maybe they don't like her because she's more famous than them or whatever. But when you start seeing stuff like this from Stephen A and then you see some of the comments that these WNBA coaches and players are actually saying about Caitlin Clark, it seems pretty racist to me. And I don't like this. I don't like talking about politics. I don't even want to think of this subject as politics because to me this is more just about humanity. People are all from the original people that were put on this planet by God back in the day, Adam and Eve. We are all related. We all come from the beginning of time and we should not be racist toward each other. We all bleed red. It does not matter. Skin color should not matter here. And later on in the video, Stephen A starts talking about Donald Trump and all this other political stuff that I'm not even going to get into because, again, this is a sports channel. We're not talking about politics here. But I'm just saying that what Stephen A. Smith and these other media people are doing by politicizing this is absolute garbage. It should not be happening. It is absolutely ridiculous. Let Caitlin Clark be. And at the end of this video, this long monologue, five minutes that Stephen A. Smith went on on this rant about Caitlin Clark and racism and white people and all this other stuff. He says at the end that Caitlin Clark is a great player. It's nothing against her and all this kind of stuff, but it's still the fact that we have not progressed as a nation back from the 60s or whatever. And it's like Stephen A. Smith this is stupid. It doesn't matter. You as a media person, as a sports analyst, I know that you have a podcast off ESPN where you talk about politics and whatever, and that's fine. I'm not saying you shouldn't have your opinion and your thought processing and your right to say whatever, but on ESPN, a sports network, you on first take saying this is ridiculous. You should not be saying this. People do not want their sports and politics infiltrated. I didn't even want to really have to make this video, but I'm sick and tired of pulling up Twitter and X and all these other social media platforms and seeing the slander that is going chaos. Caitlin Clark's way, and it's not just because she's a good player, it's because of her skin color, and that is absolutely ridiculous. We should have progressed as a nation, and you, Stephen A. Smith, and other people like you are not allowing us to progress as a nation by saying the stuff that you were saying right now about a fantastic player that you don't like because she's not the skin color that you prefer, and that is absolutely sad. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about my take on this whole situation. Again, this is not a channel for politics. I do not like getting into politics here. I do sometimes Sometimes talk a little bit of stuff on Twitter, but still Twitter is crazy. And a lot of people say things that they don't mean on there, but I try not to go off the deep end when it comes to topics like this, because sports need to be sports. Politics need to be politics, but Stephen A. Smith and all these people are crossing the line with Caitlin Clark. And I want to know whether you agree or disagree with me, or if you agree with Stephen A. And you actually think what he said is absolutely true, but let me know in the comment section, subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, like this video down below, follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I'll see you next time.